Hey, hello friends and welcome back. Today we're in the kitchen and we're adding some simple spring and Easter touches. There's nothing like adding lots of bunnies when spring weather arrives. My open shelves here in the kitchen have been empty for a couple of weeks now and that's absolutely been driving me crazy. So let's start with our open shelves today and then we'll add some vignettes starting here in the corner by the refrigerator. And then we'll go over to the corner by the stove. My coffee bar has been fully decorated for Easter for several weeks now, and I have, and I have so been enjoying it. I'll link that video below if you happen to miss my Easter decorating there at the coffee bar. If you happen to be new to my channel today, hello, I'm Robin. I am so, so happy that you're here. Now let's get this video started. Now, no one freak out when I go to hang this picture. Derek is not home to help me today, so I must get on the bar to hang this picture here above the top shelf. And really, standing on the bar is the only way I could reach this top shelf. However, I was extra careful, I promise. Okay, so let's start with this gorgeous sign that I got from Hobby Lobby about three years ago. I love having a sign here. I feel that this long sign is just perfect and I also love the deep green and the farmhouse design on it. I've been looking for a black iron scale at our local antique shops in my hometown but I just have not found one yet that I really like. So I may have to just buy a brand new one but I do think a set of black iron scales would be really pretty here on this top shelf. All right, I like to start with my big items first and then fill in the blank spaces after I'm done. I've never put a lamp here on this top shelf before, but I have always wanted to put one up here. There's really no place to plug one in, but I do have this faux lamp that came from Hobby Lobby several years ago, and I feel like this little faux lamp is gonna go perfect here on the top shelf. When this cookbook was originally released, I was over the moon excited about it because it's got this deep green that I knew was going to be my color scheme for this coming spring. And so I mentioned that on a video and y'all, three of my girlfriends sent me this same cookbook. I was just honored um, and I really wanted um, to use these three cookbooks throughout my kitchen. I was determined that I was going to use all of them in my spring um, kitchen this year and I think I've pretty much pulled that off. I've added one here on my hutch, I've added one here on the dining table, and then I'm going to use the third on my open shelves today. Okay, and I'm definitely going out of the box here, decorating with this new, well not new, new to me. Um, I found this mug holder and these adorable uh, deep green measuring cups in an antique shop with me a few weeks back. And I thought, okay, I don't really have any mugs I want to display up here. Not a, really not enough room to display any mugs. So let me display these, go, these gorgeous measuring cups here. I just took some jute string and hung them from that, from that mug holder. Isn't that just adorable? I think it's just a great way to kind of again think out of the box and display these measuring cups so that you can really see those or measuring spoons. I'm so sorry. Because um, if I laid those down, which I would normally just lay down here on the top shelf, you just couldn't see them as well. So I do love this idea of hanging those from my um, vintage mug rack holder. I think it looks really sweet. And then I just added a floral there. And then because I just love a floral print and I really wanted to use the for old bunny i'm just going to add him right in front of this cookbook just to add another bit um, of dimension and some more color here to this top shelf and this is all i'm going to do to this top shelf it's pretty busy but i do like it that way i made my hutch really busy this year also for spring so i'm going to bring that same feel the eclectic feel over to my open shelves Okay, now let's move down to my second shelf. Um, I am trying real hard this year, guys, not to buy a lot of new items, but I have been doing a pretty good bit of antique shopping lately, but I've been trying to stay out of the stores and trying not to buy all the... Um, 
you know, just the new spring lines that all the different companies put out. I've been trying to just use what I already have. And this is one of my antique uh, tea mugs that I actually got from my friend Charlotte's Trade Days. Uh, I love the way it's got the little teapot connected to the cup. It's like an all-in-one type little system. I think it's absolutely adorable. I love that it has a little bit of purple, a little bit of green, a little bit of pink. I just, this is one of my favorite teapots that I own. Um, if you're from my hometown, never been over to Charlotte and David's Trade Days, you must head over there. Um, she has the sweetest things, and they go uh, to... Um, what do you call those? They go to estate sales all the time and they're always having new products at their store. So please go over and visit Charlotte and David and let them know that Robin sent you. Okay, now I'm going to add my Pioneer Woman. This is like a cookie jar or maybe um, a canister, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. But today I'm going to use it as like a little utensil holder. I thought this would be a great way to display some of my Pioneer Woman spatulas along with this adorable cloth carrot and uh, this dish scrubber that I picked up from an antique store a few weeks back. I think they're going to look really good displayed here on the second shelf. Oh my goodness, y'all. Is anyone out there laughing at me how many times I have rearranged these four items in this canister? I just could not get it right. <laughs> Finally got it. Okay, let me show you this sweet little Easter um, sign, Easter bunny sign, I guess you could say, that was given to me by my sweet little friend Keith. His mother, Rebecca, and I have been several, have been friends for a couple of years now. Uh, God sent her into my life at such the, the best time. She has been such an inspiration to me. And her son, Keith, and her, her and her son were shopping at Target. And I guess Keith uh, saw this and thought of me. He does watch my videos, which I think is adorable. Uh, I think Keith is 11. But he met me in Lufkin one day, and they gave me that gift. And I was just tickled. And I told him immediately that I would be using this little sign in my next Easter Decorate With Me video. So here we go, Keith. It's perfect here on the second shelf here on the open shelves. I hope you like it. Okay, now here's a look from the floor. I think it looks so, so good. Guys, uh, here above the cabinets and above my kitchen cabinets and down by the bar, I'm hopefully going to paint that when I'm on vacation the first week of April. And I think I'm going to use a linen color. The dining room is like agreeable gray, but I don't think gray is going to go with these cabinets. I think I'm going to do a linen color from Sherwin-Williams. So fingers crossed that project turns out well. Okay, now let's go over and let's do um, some vignettes. I love creating vignettes. My friend Fran calls me the queen of vignettes, which I have to giggle at because I'm not a queen by any means. Uh, I do not know what I'm doing half the time, but I do enjoy trying to put together a perfect vignette. This antique spoon I just picked up from a antique shop here in our local hometown. And then you're going to see this sweetest little tulip basket that I also picked up from there. Uh, I think this little basket is a new item, but I did find it at an antique store. One of my favorite things to do when I'm creating my vignettes here in the kitchen or anywhere else throughout the house is using old items with new items and you'll see a lot of vintage items here in this little vignette like that little copper teapot those little copper measuring spoons that little wooden cookie cutter those are all that little um potato potato masher right there those are all items i've picked up from our local antique stores here in my hometown and that is one of my favorite things to do on my lunch hour is to go over to the antique shops and just browse down each aisle i absolutely love it of course i also love going into target going into tj maxx and browsing their place also but I am um, I'm trying really hard not to buy brand new items this year guys and just doing a lot of antiquing and adding lots of character into my kitchen 
Okay, so here's the finished look here. Well, almost finished. I've got to add a little Easter bunny because we are adding some Easter touches to today's video. Okay, before we get any further, I'm going to take a second and open my kitchen window. I think I already have my storm door open. It was a beautiful spring morning. The wind chimes were chiming. The wind was blowing. It was just so, so pretty. And y'all, this crazy wind is going to go up and down as you're watching this, this clip. I've had, a I've had some trouble with my little spring that's in the window. This window has been here since like the 60s when the house is built. So it definitely needs to be replaced. But we haven't done that yet. But that's one of my house projects is to get a new kitchen window. Um, I'm using this little sweet little uh, bunny towel that came from TJ Maxx. I have another one over on my uh, coffee bar and I'm just going to add a sweet little copper measuring cup that I got from an antique store just to complete this area. Okay, now let's add a little bit of Easter decor here to the left of the stove. All I'm going to add here is this little sweet little bunny. I guess it's a cutting board. I'm not real sure, but I'm just going to use it as a decor item. And these little white ceramic bunnies, I have three of those you'll see in the kitchen today. These came from Target and the bullseye section. Um, I think I got most of them a couple years back. I did not see any this year. All the bunnies they had this year were like a fluorescent color. So I didn't get to pick up any new white bunnies this year. But I do have three that I kind of like to sprinkle throughout the kitchen. Okay, now I'm going to change out the corner here. Uh, I'm going to remove that tray that was there. To me, that's more of a heavy winter tray. And we're going to lighten it up and use a round wicker tray. Um, I got this round tray that you'll see in just a second. And there's also a square one that matches it that uh, came from Walmart. And these are four years old. They came from like their summer line. Um, and I have just used those pretty much every year in my spring kitchen. And the square one I'm using on my dining room. We'll see that in my next video. But I do love these trays. They're very, very pretty. And they pretty much go with any decor that I can put in there. So I'll put my little crock back, my plant back. I'll use my little coffee dispenser, put it back here. And then to add a little summer touch in this little vignette, I'll add this little Easter tree and another one of those little white ceramic buddies. So as you can see here, I didn't really change out much over in the corner. I just changed out the tray and then I just added a couple of Easter pieces here. And of course, what I'm known for around here is changing up things. And as I was decorating the rest of the kitchen, I thought, you know what? Something else needs to go on the second shelf. And I thought, yes, I'll just add in my Magnolia cookbook. I think this is the second edition that she's put out. I love the linen color to it. Just to add a little bit more character here on the open shelves. That's all I did was add that cookbook. And then this is the third towel that went with those sets of bunny towels that I got from TJ Maxx. I love buying my seasonal dish, towel, dish towels from TJ Maxx. They're usually like $9.99 for a set of three and TJ Maxx never fails me. They always have the most adorable seasonal tea towels. Okay, now let's move over to this little area as you go into my living room. I like to always have some type of quote, a spiritual quote or some type of bubble verse on this little menu board and today I'm just going to keep it very simple. I just simply wrote Happy Easter, He is Risen because I believe that Jesus Christ was crucified on the cross for our sins. He died, He was buried and He rose three days later. He was crucified for our sins and He now reigns on high and He is my Lord of Lord and my King of Kings.
I mentioned earlier that I am going to be on vacation in April and my friends Charlotte and I are going to go and we're going to take a girls road trip. We're going to head off to Fredericksburg, look at some blue bonnets, some wildflowers, go to a winery, do a, lo a lot of antique shopping and then we're going to head over to Waco. So I am so excited about that road trip and y'all I would love to maybe record it for you guys a little bit of it. I've already asked Charlotte for permission. So would you guys like to see like a little travel blog of Charlotte and I of Charlotte and I heading to Fredericksburg and then heading over to Waco and going into the Magnolia stores and all that fun stuff. Let me know in the comment section if you'd be interested in that. I've never filmed anything like that before, but I will definitely film it for you guys if you want to see it. Okay, now that we're going to take a couple of bunny pillows and we're just going to add those into the kitchen. I love a sweet little bunny pillow. It's a great way to add a little seasonal touch to your kitchen, your living room, your bedroom. I pretty much add pillows throughout my house for every season. This is another one of my favorite areas here to the left of the hutch to decorate in the kitchen. I normally add a little sign above that little accordion rack, but I'm going to save that for later. I didn't get that done in today's video, but this is another little area that I love decorating and I'm keeping it very simple over here in this area. Okay, my friends, I sure hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got a lot of spring and Easter inspiration from this video. I love doing a seasonal video for you guys um let me know in the comment section um let me know in the comment section your favorite area the open shelves which vignette you like best um i appreciate you guys watching and let me know in the comment section if you happen to be new today i'd love to hear from you if you're one of my returning subscribers you guys know i love you love you love you i appreciate you thanks for spending some of your precious time with me friends and i'll see you in the next one bye